What's up, guys? It's xgravity2x here. Oh. And I'm here in the Minecraft 1.8 pre release. And what I wanted to show you, I'm actually in uh, creative mode, so it's not legit or anything. But what I wanted to show you is, you know, the new bow, which is pretty cool. But I found an abandoned mine, which I said was the first thing I would look for in 1.8. And I even found the poison spiders and the poison spider spawner. Oh, I don't have any health bars right now because I'm in creative mode. So yeah, but I did find one in my survival mode. Thing is, I fell in the lava and I couldn't get back there. So yeah, that's why I found one on creative mode. But yeah, basically, those are um, the poisonous spiders. They have a little. They don't. They're, I think they're a little smaller than normal spiders, but they have like this little green thing on their back or something. I, I don't know. There's another one going to spawn. But yeah, so this is a abandoned mine shaft. Kind of looks like this. It has these wooden arches, and, and I mean, it's just like it's it's just the longest thing of tunnels. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Spider. See, they're, they're smaller. They're like mini spiders. And let me get some light. See, they're kind of green. They're not like fully black like the normal spiders. They're, like, they're sort of like bluish green. They have a bluish green face. And back. And this bow is really cool. And you get some XP too. Let me go find that. Also, what I found out is that after you beat a monster spawner there's usually a chest no oh 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 don't push me out don't push me in don't yeah, and you get cobwebs here too i think this is the only place in the game that you can actually find cobwebs now i think they existed before this that well they were in the game but i'm out of arrows oh well so yeah, I mean, this is just like, the abandoned mines can be absolutely humongous. Yeah, they can be absolutely humongous. And you can usually, like, I found a lot of diamonds in the abandoned mines. I don't have that much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of ore around it. Usually you find lava around it. Diamonds. It's a well. It's an awesome place to uh, find them. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show you the abandoned mine, which I thought was like, probably the coolest thing out of the whole thing, out of the whole update. I thought the Endermen were going to be pretty cool, but um, you know, they just, if you just get them in the water, they just die. So if you're ever fighting Endermen and you don't know how to, well, just you know, just put some water in them. Or make him jump into water, or have like a bucket of water, or whatever. Ooh. Yeah. Also, what I noticed is that there are like there are caves everywhere. Like if you go searching, like I, I'm pretty sure the whole Minecraft mechanics is going to be changed because of 1.8. Because there's literally there's caves just everywhere. Like there's no more like, all right, so you're going to sit here, make a house here, and settle down. Maybe dig straight down and, you know, make a mine shaft. Nope. There's just, there's caves everywhere. Like, every, like, every chunk has, like, at least, like, four caves. Oh, what is that? Wow, these mine shafts are extremely long and... Yeah, they, they have multiple levels and multiple ores and stuff. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, so it's, it's no more just, like, you know, just make, make a house settle down. And now it's sort of like, you know, like you, just, you you just keep on going. You just keep on making houses. You just you never actually stop digging because there's just so many caves and whatnot. You just have to explore. And what if you find something like this? A mine shaft with so much new ore that you would never find while you were just digging down. 
So yeah, I mean, I just, I just wanted to make this video because I've been talking that the first thing I'm gonna do when I get my hands on 1.8 is gonna be the abandoned mine because I thought that was the coolest update, and it definitely is. I mean, it's these things are really interesting, and trust me, they're a treat when you come by them on the survival. Just watch out because they usually have a lot of water and lava. Oh, is that a spawner up there? Alright, uh, yeah, so, also, <coughs> also, I've run by, by, I think, like, three of these spawners already, and they've had chests behind them, so if you beat a spawner, make sure to look for chests, and also, I gotta show you one of the things I absolutely love, last thing I gotta show you, they added a new animation for chests, and when you open chests, they actually open, so... You know, now there's actually a reason that you can't put block on top of chests because they'll simply. Oh, alright, bad. Bad example. Oh, alright. Oh. Alright, see? Now, there's a solid block on top of the chest, so you can't open it. Now it actually makes sense because the chest actually opens up. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make this informative little video. So, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to tune in on Monday for 1.8 Let's Play with me and the Skrillax. It's going to be awesome. So, thanks for watching.